Hello Pisces and welcome to your reading by the Blessings Foundry. Today's reading is going to be looking at love and emotions between you and somebody who's around you. Now mind you this person may not have reached out to you but it's a person who's in your energy. Either it could be a person who's you know physically around you that may not have been speaking to you or may their intentions or um, emotions towards you known, or it could be somebody who you are connected with currently, either in a relationship or, you know, maybe dating. So just please keep that in mind. We're going to look at you and your current hopes and desires and possible actions, them and their current hopes, desires and possible actions and the space in between the common energies between the two of you. Guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, 5D light and above, please come near. Please connect to Pisces and Pisces. Guides, guardians, please connect to the Pisces viewers and subscribers of this channel and the guides and their gu guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, and higher self and high vibrational energy to get the messages and guidance that Pisces seeks regarding connections. Spirit, please also connect to the person in Pisces viewers and subscribers energy that is interested in connecting with them or is just interested in Pisces at this point in time. Please be very clear and precise for Pisces. Please show Pisces what the current, what Pisces current hopes and desires are, their possible actions and the current energy for Pisces. Let's see here. Right. So Pisces, you currently emotionally are in the process of walking away from something or you have already walked away from something. You're really headed towards something new emotionally. And we see strength. It has taken strength and courage for you to walk away from whatever you have. You are also perhaps in a place where you're giving yourself a lot of self-care, self-love, and you know, really taking the time um, to focus on you after you've walked away from a situation, a person, place, or thing that has not been as fulfilling as you had hoped. And we have judgment. You're walking, you're really awakening Pisces. Your hopes and desires are to, you know, have the courage to, I feel love again, but here in your likely outcome, we have judgment. It seems here that in the likely outcome, you are in fact going to have a connection. It could be a past life connection that you're coming in to, you're going to have connection with or you're going to have some type of awakening with respect to love and emotions. We will get clarification for that in a minute. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the person. Spirit, please connect to the person around Pisces that is having emotions or feelings or is in Pisces energy. Please show what the person's current energies are, their hopes and desires and possible actions regarding Pisces, please. So for this person, their current energy with respect to you is world. They they really are looking at you and admiring you, Pisces. They really think that, they think the world of you, they think of you very highly. They feel a sense of completion with you, like fulfillment, as though, you know, you could very well be the person. You give them a sense of fulfillment. They look at you and think that you are their person whether or not or you could be thank you spirit you could be their person like you could be a very good match here we have um taurus leo libra and scorpio as the energies as well they don't have to be that energy but this is the energy of the world card so currently they are really you know focusing or feeling as though um you give them a sense of fulfillment they're all they could also be working on something um ending one cycle and beginning anew. In their hopes and desires, we have the Seven of Swords. So they're really wanting to have a plan to come towards you. They're really not sure. Um, they, they view you as very strong Pisces and you may be you know, working on your strength. They may be witnessing you um, really walk away from a situation and being in your strength, in your power. Um, but they're definitely f trying to figure out a way to approach you. Um, and what is their possible action towards Pisces? So they are definitely wanting a coming together. They may feel so you may in some ways be opposites, but they're, no, I stand corrected, not opposites, compliments, compliments of each other that each of you could come, in, come together, make something new and wonderful and grand. So let's see what the current common energies are between the two of you. 
Spirit, please show the current common energies between Pisces and this person that is around Pisces. What is the current common energies between Pisces and this person, please? So just as we were saying, you know, this person hasn't made um, necessarily moves or has not articulated how they're feeling. It could, in fact, be somebody you're, you are, oops, sorry, you're around or, you know, haven't just, you just have not had um, proper communication about how this person feels. So in the current common energies, we see the Six of Cups. So this is definitely, there's a connection here, Pisces, here in the judgment card for your possible action. This is a re connecting and awakening with somebody, a past um, life connection or past love. Um, again, we'll get clarification for that judgment in a moment. But here we're seeing in the current common energies, I, it's really strong that both of you are feeling that there is a connection here. You may feel drawn to each other that, you know, there's just this emotional harmony that could um, definitely be made available between the two of you if you should come together or work on this connection. Then in the current common hopes and desires, desires we have the Eight of Cups. Now this is very interesting, Pisces, because currently you are in the Eight of Cups walking away. You know, you're on in a process or stage in your journey with respect to love and emotions. And in the hopes and desires, we have the Eight of Cups. So this is, you know, walking away from what was in the past. You both are, are commonly having the common hopes and desires of walking away from what was in the past Pisces you're having the you're having the courage to go into a brave new frontier emotionally and in love having walked away from what was no longer working this person may be closing out a cycle and working on an exit strategy for a current situation they are but either of you are really hoping to leave the past behind and move towards something new so what is the possible co current common actions between you so we have the seven of wands this is really rowing um i know this is not the six of swords but here in this particular seven of wands this is um really fighting off any negative energies, any crocodiles, alligators, right? So you're you're not wanting to have, neither of you are wanting to have the noise and distraction that comes from alligator energy. And that could be, you know, people who are not a match for you, people who you don't feel connection with. You know, Pisces, you're, you're very beautiful, you're very attractive, you're very charismatic in your true Piscean energy, and that draws a lot of people to you. This person also may be very attractive, you know, it, you're a complimentary person, so they may also be, you know, fighting off alligators with a stick. And, you know, we're really seeing the possible actions here is neither of you really want to be fighting off trolls emotionally anymore, and it's really wanting to come together um, with somebody who is a good match for you. So now let's dive into you, Pisces, and see what more in depth what is going on with you. So Spirit, what is this Eight of Cups for Pisces and Pisces current energy? What is this Eight of Cups for Pisces and Pisces current energy, please? What is this Eight of Cups for Pisces current energy in love and emotions? So we have the High Priestess. Anything else for this Eight of Cups, please? Okay, no, they're saying, you know, Pisces here, you're in the energy um, when it comes to connections and emotions that you're really listening to your intuition in your gut. If it doesn't feel right, you're walking away. You're just not having any more of the past fragmented energy. The Eight of Cups before the Eight of Cups is the Seven of Cups, which is that energy of illusion, unrealistic expectation, fragmentation. You have surpassed that. You are really tapping into your intuition. And as you continue to do that, you are walking away from trolls. You are walking away from cups that are not meant for you. So you're really wanting, we're seeing here, something that is a good, stable, solid connection, a true connection that is, you know, you can build on and have something very strong and stable that is not that troll energy. So what is the strength card for Pisces' current hopes and desires? What is the strength card for Pisces' current hopes and desires, please, Spirit? Thank you. And wow, we have the death card coming out and the queen of pentacles. So you, you have definitely had the courage and strength to move forward and really transform your life. You have ditched troll energy or are in the process of ditching troll energy, um, alligator energy, as we see here, right? De not dealing with um, situations that are unfulfilling. And you have really 
stood in your courage and you are strong Pisces. You are strong and you are transforming yourself and you are a very high value person. Your hopes and desires are to in fact come into a very stable, solid position for yourself. And if that in fact includes a stable, solid connection, so be it. But really you are in your power. You are moving forward. You are changing and transforming your life, your energy and your relationships in order to have stability and security for yourself. So what is this judgment card for Pisces possible actions? What is this judgment card for Pisces possible actions, please? Thank you. And we have the, wow, Pisces, 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 you want it. You, that sounds bad. I don't, I don't want to make it sound. I don't want that to be interpreted as a, a sexual innu innuendo because that's not what I mean you're wanting to come into union with your true partner you want that twin flame connection you want stable ground you want a solid commitment just as this queen of pentacles you're not dealing with alligator troll energies and connections that drain you you're walking away you're saying deuces be I'm out um you you're in your strength you're in your power you're very passionate and you're moving forward wanting to awaken to a true connection and I, I think some of you are really feeling the energy of um your person coming forward and you know in the possible actions if if this type of relationship shows up you're going to be all in i feel right you're you're going to be like all right but it's going to take your equal your compliment the person that's meant for you that that true connection to show up and to show up they have to come correctly they could be your person, but if they're not showing up correctly, if they have not cleansed their energy, if they have not done their soul work, their part in their own journey, you're not going to be at a place where you can equally come together. So let's now look at this person. So Spirit, what is this world for this person's current energy and what they're feeling towards Pisces? What is this world for the person, please? What is this world card for the person? What do we need to know about the person, please, for this world? What is their current energies? What is this world for the, the person's current energies regarding Pisces? <laughs> Look at this Pisces. Pisces, they think the world of you. They're looking at you and they're like, holy cow pie. Like, holy, what the, who the, who the heck is this person? Like, they are really looking at you in amazement. And that is also partly why they're, they may not be speaking up or speaking how they feel because they're just like wowed by you. Like right now, Pisces, they see you, they're looking at you and seeing that you are handling business. You're, you're not dealing with anything. You're ignoring things that might be noise to distract you off your path. They see that you're strong, your focus is fixed and that you are determined. And here, Pisces, they are looking at you and they're like, oh my God, I want to make Pisces my world. Like Pisces is it, high priestess being Pisces. They could also view you as somebody who's very connected, tapped in, has high focus, very determined, very knowledgeable. They could, they just, this person is really looking at you and they're like, I, I, I feel as though this person is looking at you and like Pisces is a stunner, just a cold stunner, like in amazement. And this is why they're just like, Holy crap, how do I even come near Pisces? Like maybe they tried to approach you, but they're just not sure. So what is the seven of swords for this person's hopes and desires? Wow, Pisces, we are sure getting um, the eight of cups. We have the eight of cups for your energy, the eight of cups for the common energy for hopes and desires, and the eight of cups now for theirs. So we have moving forward. You know, that's one thing about the eight of cups is the eight of cups isn't just moving on it's moving to and what you're moving to is the nine of cups so you pisces want to move to your nine of cups this person is trying to figure out a plan to have a solid plan forward um that's going to be very real very tangible very practical they're going to be slow moving about it they're not just going to be like yo pisces what's up because that's gonna that's gonna like send you red flags that they know that's going to put you off. It's not going to be attractive to you because they're really paying attention to your energy. They're really paying attention to how you move, how you operate. They're, they're really examining you and trying to figure out what the best approach is because they don't want to botch this. They want it to be a very solid, stable approach as they come forward. But moreover, in your 
individual energy and in your common energy, you are moving away from things that have not worked. You're mo moving away from troll energy, alligator energy, and you're going towards your nine of cups. What is the nine of cups? Pisces. The nine of cups is Pisces, but it's also that wish fulfillment. That's abundance. That's that satisfaction. And here, this person in their hopes and desires is they're really thinking it over. They're really um, thinking through how to come forward and make a very practical um, offer or, you know, have practical dialogue with you because they understand that you are very high value and that if they come to you in a flaky way, you're going to be like, bye. You're not, you, they realize that you probably have a lot of people that try to be entertained that are trying to um, come and be part of your energy and they don't want to be just another person. Um, I feel as though this person is also an extremely high value person as well. What is this temperance card for this person's possible actions? What is this temperance card for this person's possible actions, please? And the temperance card is also Sagittarius energy. So it could be during Sagittarius season, which is later this year. I believe it starts um, around December time or November, the end of middle to end of November to early December, um, they, that's when they might approach you. What is this possible actions or they might articulate to you or, or take some type of action? What is this possible actions this person may take towards Pisces, please? What is this possible action this person may take towards Pisces, please? What do we need to know about this temperance card, please, spirit? Okay, we have quite a few things here. We have three cards coming out. And look at this an offer. This is a message or an offer that they, some type of gesture that this person wants to make to you. They may come forward with communication. It may be a small offer coming towards you. Look at this in the temperance. So they, they're going to make an offer or a message and an extends an offer or opportunity for you to come together. They're going to be very kind, gentle. They're, they're going to, um, bring clarity to how they've been feeling. Maybe not, everything they've been feeling but there's going to be some communication that's that will attempt to bring you guys together in this energy again um the temperance it could be around sagittarius season that they finally figure out well not finally figure out because that's that is um actually a statement that makes it, them seem diminished they're just with the knight of pentacles they're taking their time to really think about what the best way is to approach you to have success or to communicate with you for success. So this person, again, really thinks highly of you, Pisces. They're looking at you and they're like, holy cow pie. This Pisces is amazing. So now let's look at your current common energy. There is this connection, whether you guys realize it or not, there's, there is some, some spark, some, some, some type of zap between the two of you that keeps having you kind of look each other's way or feel, um, Feel, feel and know the unspoken. We have the high priestess in both of your energies. They may have um, very intuitive abilities as well um, that is helping them to tap in and tune into your frequency. Because Pisces, I don't whether you know it or not, Pisces, you have the ability to communicate with people without words in the dream time, in your thought processes, even if you're not around the person you can, you're able to have this telepathic communication with people. Um, it just has to be a skill that, or it is rather a skill that just you develop through time and use and experience. So what is the six of cups for the current common energies between Pisces and this person? What is the six of cups, please? What is the six of cups, please, spirit? What is the six of cups, please? What do we need to know about this? Thank you. Yeah, so we have the Knight of Pentacles coming out again. So this is going, I heard slow burn. So this is not going to be a Knight of Wands energy that's very passionate in and out. This is going to be a slow burn. This is going to be a stable, a very stable connection. And this is, you both have gotten to the place where you have gone through enough crocodiles and crocodile tears. No more crocodile tears, Pisces. This is a coming together of something very stable and solid for the both of you. And you both currently are in this position where you're at the point where you're you're heading towards your nine of cups. No more crocodiles, no more trolls. You want this stable connection. 
What is this Eight of Cups for Pisces and this person's common hopes and desires? What is this Eight of Cups, please, Spirit? What do we need to know about this? Thank you. And we have the King of Swords. So this King of Swords is, you know, the first word that came to me is severing. Severing anything in the past that might get in the way of your future together. So, you know, you both have the Eight of Cups walking away from the past, moving towards your ten, your Nine of Cups, and eventually your Ten of Cups. But here, the King of Swords is about communication. It's about leadership. It's about authority. It's about knowing exactly what you want. And this is in your hopes and desires. This is also masculine energy, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. But this is um, really being clear on what you want and, you know, not, not hiding in a shadow or you know, allowing interference from past things. This is this is boldly moving forward. So your current hopes and desires are to be clear, to have transparency, to leave the past in the past and to move forward, you know, making a clean severing and starting something very new, stable and grounded. What is the seven of wands for possible actions between the two of you? What is the seven of wands, please, spirit? What is the seven of wands, please? What is the Seven of Wands, please, Spirit? What do we need to know about the Seven of Wands, please? Thank you. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at this. No more alligators. Any alligator comes around Pisces or this person, they're going to get a bop on the head. Bopping alligators all day, all night. No trolls, no alligators. And more importantly, again, no more crocodile tears. Possible actions, a big juicy cup of love. So bopping all the alligators on the head saying, no, get away troll. I don't want you. I want Pisces. Where is my Pisces? You know, where is my person coming into this romantic union passionately? Well, the, this is not the Knight of Wands, which is that passionately going forward, but knowing what you want here with the Knight of Pentacles and moving forward to extend a cup of love, a, a romantic offer or gesture is definitely what we're seeing here in the current common energies Pisces. So let me get one card for the overall message of this reading. Actually, I'm going to get one for Pisces, one for them, and one for the current common spirit. One card for Pisces energy for this reading. One card for Pisces energy for this reading, please, spirit. One card for Pisces energy for this reading, please, spirit. Thank you. And we have two coming out for you, Pisces. Third eye chakra. Literally, this is about you listening to your intuition and, and, and listening to the unspoken. As we were saying, having that telepathic communication, that divine guidance and that divine sight and throat chakra, speaking your truth. So we're seeing here, Pisces, this is about connection. This is about clarity. This is about communication. Um, as you... This, if this person approaches you, Pisces, do not be hesitant to express your interest. Sometimes you might be a little shy or a little um, withdrawn about speaking about what it is you want to say. Yeah, okay, yes, I'd like to go out with you or hi, how are you? I'm so-and-so or whatever. So what is this person's overall energy spirit? What do you, thank you. And we have fertility. They are abundant. This person is significantly abundant and they are really wanting to come towards you, Pisces. You are their, <clears throat> pardon me, you are their empress and there's nobody else that can hold a light to you. Um, what is the current common energies, please, Spirit? What is the current common energies, please? Thank you. Pisces, I'm not even joking here. We have new beginnings and firm foundation. I'm I'm literally not even joking. This is a, a match that is, we don't have the Wheel of Fortune here, but we do have the, the Judgment card with the Four of Wands. This could definitely be a twin flame or somebody who is destined to come into your life. It could be a soulmate, but this is, this has all the workings of having something very beautiful and very new. For those of you who are in a connection already this could see that it gets a new sense of grounding and a new sense of 
um, abundance that is coming to it. But what we see here overall, Pisces, is you are walking away from the past. You are very focused on yourself. You are in your strength, transforming in your power, focused on your security, on your stability. And you are only contending things that are going to be very stable, very true, and very committed. You're not giving your energy to... Um, flights of fancy or things that are hit or miss. We also see Pisces that your possible actions are in fact that you're going to be in a committed relationship or if you're already in a committed relationship, it may develop further. For this person, we see that they are looking at you and they think the world of you. They hold you in extremely high regard. They view you as the empress. They may be having telepathic communication with you or feel as though they may be dreaming about you, seeing you in their dream time or they may be showing up in your dream time. Then we have in the hopes of the desires, they wanna come forward towards you. They have kissed enough crocodiles and they want their empress, which they see as you, emperor, you know, independent of gender here. They have very stable, very grounded emotions um, and they're figuring out what the best um, way to approach you is or the best way to come forward and develop something with you or something further with you, but they understand that you are an extremely high value person. And that is why they're taking their time because they wanna make sure it's done right. They understand because of the fact that you are a high value person, if they come to you um, with half-baked introductions or just randomly, you will dismiss them very rapidly because you will think they are a crocodile and they don't want to, you know, be, associated with a crocodile mentality. Here we see that they view you as a compliment, that you would be a very good compliment to them. And their possible actions are in fact to message you or to offer you um, a proposal, something very good here, maybe even a new relationship or advancement in a relationship. Overall Pisces, we see here, it's going to be extremely important that you listen to your divine connection tapping into your intuition through your third eye chakra to really get clarity on intentions and to also speak your truth. Do not be afraid to speak up. This person is very abundant. They view you as very abundant and they view you as the empress and want to come together with you. Together, you both have a new beginning ahead of you. That's going to lead to an extremely firm foundation. Um, this this is extremely beautiful and you know this this is what I have for you Pisces and I wish you the best again we have the temperance card for possible actions which may be around Sagittarius season as well so I wish you the best Pisces God bless